These are recent images of the port of Los Angeles, showing over 60 cargo ships docked offshore, just waiting to be unloaded. As we zoom in, we can see nearly 1 million shipping containers on these boats, awaiting to be offloaded from the port. Across the globe in Shanghai, they are going through the same catastrophe, with 153 ships waiting to be offloaded at the port of Shanghai. With two of the world's largest ports backed up, this is a serious problem. But what's really causing all these cargo ships to back up, and for all the shipping containers to sit idle waiting to be moved out and delivered? The port of Los Angeles is the biggest port in the United States, by TEUs. TEU means 20-foot equivalent. In simple terms, TEU represents the number of 20-foot shipping containers that are imported every year to that specific port. 2021 is the worst backup the port has ever gone through, with a record 72 cargo ships docked offshore just a few weeks ago. Surrounding the port of Los Angeles is something called the 40-mile zone. Any ship that's inside the zone is considered to be in line to be offloaded. Any ship that is outside the zone is considered docked and not scheduled to be unloaded. There were over 115 ships in total both inside and outside the 40 mile zone, but just not enough room to line up to be offloaded. To make matters worse, due to so many ships being in the area, the air was getting too polluted, which made the port of Los Angeles expand the 40 mile zone to now the 150 mile zone. This caused even more ships to back up and the line to grow even more as you see in this image. That number is now down to 62 cargo ships in total, which will still be a big job to unload. But why did the port back up in the first place? The backup's origin is somewhat complicated. In the early days of the lockdown, consumers were spending less money, which left cargo ships sitting idle, not needing to ship as many items to the ports as they usually do. But as the conditions changed, consumers began spending money and buying things again. Stores reopened and the economy recovered, but the factories and supply chain did not. Ships began loading up with hundreds of thousands of shipping containers and set off for their destinations all across the world to offload. But even as the economy and consumer spending recovered, the ports were not able to keep up and could not find workers, truck drivers, or places to store all the shipping containers being offloaded. This resulted to the Port of Los Angeles completely suspending ships from offloading at the port as they cleared space to offload more containers. The shortages started off as specific in-demand items that were being purchased, but since the ports were so backed up, even the simplest items could not be delivered to local stores and warehouses. By mid-November, the situation wasn't getting any better, resulting in the port of Los Angeles going into a 24-7 operating schedule just to get through all the shipping containers that needed to be offloaded. This graph from Bloomberg shows the average amount of time a container ship waits to be unloaded at the port of Los Angeles, and it has been significantly rising in the past few months. In August of 2021, a ship would be waiting, on average, seven or eight days to be unloaded at the port. In December 2021, the average is nearly 21 days. The worst part about these backups is that it's not just isolated to one, two, or even three different US ports. This has turned into a global catastrophe. The port of Shanghai is the largest port in the entire world, measured by TEUs, and they are also facing the worst backup they have seen in decades. The same situation occurred at the port of Shanghai, when a lockdown caused the port to slow down and ships to sit idle. When a rush of ships came back to the port weeks later, they simply could not keep up. The behavior of consumer spending over the past year has been very hard to predict, which has caused chaos for the ports all across the world. But as we finally understand why the ports got so backed up, how will this problem be resolved? One of the main issues that caused these ships not being able to be offloaded was the empty 20-foot containers just waiting to be loaded back onto cargo ships. The Port of Los Angeles had a record 65,000 empty containers just taking up space that could be used to offload new containers filled with items. Shipping companies were just leaving their empty containers and not picking them up from the port. To try and put an end to this, the Port of Los Angeles started charging a fine for every day an empty container sat idle at the port, taking up space. While this may sound like a great idea, most shipping companies will deal with a $100 a day fine to avoid picking up an empty container sitting at the port and find somewhere to store it until it's loaded again. There has been a lot going on at the Port of Los Angeles and the Port of Shanghai, and the story is drastically changing every day. How much longer do you think these ports will be backed up? Comment below. Thank you for watching and please subscribe if you enjoyed the video.